Gang and non-gang members, welcome to my YouTube. All right. Everybody's confused about what's going on with the dollar, what's going on with the, 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 the what's going on with the claim that she may raise, Yellen may raise rates in uh, June. Let me explain to you what's going on, and she's not going to raise rates in June. First of all, the dollar, ever since she said that, has been going up, okay? Now, I don't understand, first of all, what is it that they don't understand on CNBC that there's between, okay, likely and definitely. She didn't say definitely. She said likely. And here's why she she can't raise rates. First of all, she said she's going to put down some certain conditions, all right? Well, besides the conditions don't make sense. I mean, first of all, she didn't put any – she didn't – she put a couple conditions on. She said, I'm going to see if the economy picks up. I'm going to see if labor conditions uh, improve and inflation is 2%. Well, first of all, she's a liar. We already know inflation is well above 2%. But the reason why she does not admit is a 2% because then they'd have to stop with 0% interest, which means the government, when they borrow $400 billion to pay interest on the $20 trillion note, uh, uh, debt we have and pay the balance on all the uh, entitlements, which is $400 billion in interest a year, they'd have to move they have to pay more for money. So that's one reason. The other reason is they don't want to pay uh, the cost of living increases for all the seniors. Some 80 odd million seniors, they don't want to do that either. So here, so what's, what's, always remember about this dollar that the artificial moving of this dollar up, the Federal Reserve artificially moves it to make it look stronger. Now, when you artificially move the mark, the dollar up, and how do you do that? What you do is you say to everybody, look, I'm going to, the economy is doing well. We have such a good recovery. I'm going to raise rates. Oh, really? So immediately what happens is when she says that, that she's going to raise rates, the first thing that happens is the people in Europe, they get all excited because the investors in Europe aren't having a very good time. In fact, when they put money in the bank, they got to pay for the bank to take their money. That's how crazy it is, negative rates. So they're looking for a good deal. She knows that. So by her saying, I'm going to raise rates, that immediately means, hey, that's an excellent stock market over there. The market's going to go up. Things are doing good. When she says that, the next thing that happens is the dollar then goes up. Why does the dollar go up? Well, the dollar goes up because all the people from Europe, they dump, they dump all their euros. They dump them. They get rid of the euros to buy dollars, right? So they end up buying all these dollars. And, they, and they, why do they need dollars? Well, they buy the dollars because they're going to buy the stocks. They want to buy the stock market, right? So you can't buy the stock market using euros. You've got to buy dollars to buy the stock market. So she knows that, and that's how she gets the dollar up. She wants the dollar up. Why? Because when the dollar goes up, everybody that's in the bond market right here, you know, everybody's got their bonds. When they're in the bond market, they just say, wait a minute. You know what? I'm going to get out of my bonds, and I'm going to get into the stock market. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to sell my bonds, dump them, and I'm going to buy stocks. And because, and, and that, so what happens is when they dump their bonds, the bond price comes down, but what goes up? The yield price goes up. The interest rate goes up to yield. Now, what does that indicate? If you got the yield price going up, okay, you got the yield going up, and that signals to everybody, Hey, everybody's getting out of the bond market and they're buying stocks. So what did she do? By lying and saying that she's going to raise rates, she got this lie or this narr narrative, this fake narrative, that things are going to go up. What she wanted to do is get you people, everybody in Europe, to dump their euros. Turn around and she buy, they all buy dollars. When the dollar goes up, the first thing that happens is everybody in the bond market start dumping their bonds and they, okay, their yield goes up, which signals to the world, hey, everybody's getting out of the bond market, going to the stock market. I better do the same thing. So, but it's that first move where the dollar, this dollar right here, this dollar goes up. This, this is the culprit right here. Okay, that's the problem. Because this wouldn't, the yield would never move up 
and people would never get out of the bond market to go into the stock market. So by her making believe, saying that the recovery is here and I'm going to raise rates, that's a signal, hey, things are good. And that means everybody is, again, dumps their euro, buys the dollar. Okay, now you got that. And now you got everybody from euro, from, the, from the Europe, they also now are into the stock market. So you got the people in the stock market here and you, from Europe, and you got the people in the bond market, okay? And as long as the yield's up, and as long as the dollar up, that means great economy, okay? Great economy. That means the stock market's going up. Well, is it? No, not really. It's not. So what do you have to do? Because she's such a fraud, you got to look underneath the dollar. So you got to take the dollar, and you got to look underneath it, okay? See what's going on down here, all right? We got to take a look and see... But what the hell is going on? Why is it, what's, what's underneath this thing, okay? So you look, and what do you find? Whoa, this doesn't make sense. We're starting to see the revenues, okay? The revenues, the growth, our growth and earnings revenues have declined for five consecutive quarters. We're deeply in debt. Our economic growth was 1.4%. So wait a minute. Are you telling me she's saying she's going to raise rates when we have a decline in revenues and earnings for fifth consecutive quarters. We're deeply in debt and we have a recovery of just 1.4%. Auto loans, student loans, the cornerstone of our economy are imploding. They're up big time, 1.2 trillion now in student loans. We never had that before. Over a trillion dollars in car loans, it's all bad credit. And that's what's holding up the whole United States economy. Are you kidding me? So when you look under here and you see bad auto loans, okay, that's really bad, bad, bad car loans. And then the other thing you start seeing is, as I say, is all the debt. You got all, all kinds of debt we owe, right? We got the 20 trillion we owe just alone. That's not counting, uh, that's the 20 trillion, not counting the other 100 and, uh, it's, it's about 200, it's about 200 trillion, 212 trillion altogether we owe. So, so this is called the unfunded liabilities, Medicare, Medicaid, all that. So we got a lot of debt, man, $212 trillion. Boy, we are really in trouble. So underneath this dollar going up, it does, how can we have a good economy with $212 trillion we owe in debt, five consecutive quarters going down for earnings and growth? doesn't make sense. But so what she did is she engineered the dollar to be strong, and here it is. See, it's going up. So that the stock market would go up, and it just explained. And she wants the stock market to go up. Why? Because she knows that people never look at the economy on the GDP. The GDP is what tells us if we have a good economy. Because the GDP measures our economic growth, okay, which means every month they look at the goods we, we sold, produced rather. So if we produced one million in goods, okay, in March, and we produced uh, half a million, okay, in, in April, Okay, that's bad news, right? That's bad news. Well, if the GDP goes down, and then we then we produce the next month just a half of the half a million. Okay, so two fifty. But here's but that so so we got now a GDP of let's say one point four percent, which we do, because our, our our productivity is terrible. That means our standard of living is going down. But nobody gets that. Ninety nine point nine percent of the people look here at the stock market. Okay, we're only 2%, we're 2% right up here from an all-time high, okay, 2% from an all-time high. Now, the problem with the market is the market's going up, and for 14 months, we've been going sideways. We can't break out, because why? Because all the money is coming, the big money, the, the five largest banks, okay, the five banks, largest banks, in, in, in the United States, those five banks, okay, J.P. Morgan, Goldman Sachs, City, Bank of America, Wells Fargo, they're pulling their money out, okay? They're pulling their money out of the market. And then you've got all the hedge funds pulling their money out, okay? And then you've got all of the, the uh, mutual funds, they're pulling their money out. And all of the money that was coming out of the market, they pulled out of this market in the last three weeks, Four, or last five weeks, $44 billion. So now she's getting nervous. So Yellen's getting very nervous 
that we have pulled out $44 billion between the banks, the hedge funds, and the money markets. So she had to do something, and she's got to break out. We're 2%. We're just 2% away from a new high, and she can't let people know how bad our economy is, so that's why she plays this game. So for, for 15, 14, 15 months, we've been going up, hitting it, going up, hitting it. We can't break out, hit it, we can't break out, can't break out, because money's coming out. See, that's the problem. So she's thinking the way I can break this out is one of two ways. I can do I can do stock buybacks where we go in and we print. Here's a little printing machine. We print, and I can print all this money. Okay, I'll print all kinds of money, and I'll give it to the corporations. Okay, it's free money at zero interest, and they can do stock buybacks. But here's the problem with that. We've been doing stock buybacks since 2009 and really heavily since 2012. So the problem with stock buybacks, all these companies, it may be 0% interest, but a lot of the companies now are going into default, okay, because they are they, they got too much debt. So they're not going to do any more stock buybacks, I'll tell you that. The other thing they can do is QE2, okay? We, I mean, they can do QE4, uh, uh, okay? and But they're not about ready to do QE4 either. Okay, so I'm about ready to do that. So she's well. The only alternative, I'll go lie and I'll say, "Hey, the economy's doing good. I'm going to raise rates, and that's where all the Europeans dropped their euros. They turned around and they bought dollars, and then the people in the bond market dumped their bonds, and a signal went up, yields went up when that happens, telling the world, "Hey, everybody's getting out of bonds, going to the stock market. So now you get everybody coming into the market, but when you look underneath." Okay, you the dollar going up. You look under the dollar right here. You take a peek, and we got all that debt. We got all kinds of problems. So this is called a head fake. Okay, that's called a head fake rally. Is what's going on. So we're going to end up. This market's going to end up collapsing. Okay, and she's going to end up going down. Probably the first correction is going to be ten percent. It's not going to be too long. The other reason why she did it, and why there's a delay of this market dropping, and I'll show you what I mean by a delay. The reason why she's going to do it is because if you take a look at why she's doing this, is if you look at the S&P and bring it back, what do we have here? We've had on the S&P, and you can see it, we've had this big drop right here, okay? That was the big drop that we had in, in August, which I predicted was going to happen. We caught it. And then we had another, I predicted this one, big one in January. And now this is getting ready to drop. See it? And it's going to drop. But the reason why this one is a little harder, okay, to drop because of what they're doing. They're trying to hold it up. They keep printing money, giving it to the banks to buy their own stocks and buy other stocks to hold this up. They don't want it to go down like here. Because why? We're in an election season now. And this is a hot election. And they got to back Hillary Clinton. So one of the reasons why they... Yesterday, she made the announcement that the economy is really, really good, and we better cool it off by raising rates, okay? And which, again, euros were dumped. And when the euros get dumped, right, they buy dollars. When they buy dollars, the dollar goes up. That signals the economy is doing good, and they're all buying stocks from Europe, right? They're all going into the stock market over here. Everybody's happy, and then the bond people, they go, whoa, I better get out of my bonds here. I've got a better use of my money. So they get out of the bond. They dump their bonds, and then, then, then the yields go up, and the yields, and the yields another reason why they, it signals everybody the economy is really good. You better get in the stock market. So it's a fake rally, and the idea is try to break out and to try to get and it's not working i told everybody yesterday when the market went up i said that they're going to give it all back and it came down today and you can see we're right where we are right here bottom line until we break see these guys here i'm going to just let one last thing right here let me show you something these are called right here lower highs see it and as long as these are lower highs and this indicator here this is red and this crossed over, there is no way this market can go up and break out. It's almost impossible because with lower highs indicates the mutual funds, the five biggest banks, the hedge funds, okay, 
they're all selling. They're dumping. Mutual funds, the banks, big banks are selling. Hedge funds are selling. And they're all dumping, okay? So as long as they they don't get a – nobody gets by here. you got to get – remember, as long as they keep – they rally this up again tomorrow and this gives us another lower high, as long as it stays down, uh, 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 that means it's not going to go. So that's why it's important to always – no, if it's green or red. If it's red, my gang sells short. If it's green, my gang buys. And that's what we did with the S&P. Right now we're short because it turned red. Over here we bought. We caught a beautiful rally. And matter of fact, our gold, look at this. Our gold went up over 100%. When gold turned from red to green, we bought. And guess what? It hasn't turned red yet, has it? Now this has crossed over. So, but we got to wait, but we can't sell it short until this turns red. But isn't it nice? We're going to know. We knew when to get in. That's 100% gain, and we're going to know when to get out. Join my gang. Check out the PT2. You're going to love it. See you on the charts.